owner of Clinton Street Baking Company and Restaurant on the Lower East Side. We also have a location in Brooklyn, and um, we're here to make biscuits with my sous chef, Riley, and um, I'm, I'm ready to go. Fantastic. Okay. And do you have a signature dish and technique? Would you say biscuits are, are your signature? I am so famous for so many things that I can't really pinpoint which one I'm most famous for, but if you email me, my email is greatbiscuits at gmail.com. So, <laughs> I developed this biscuit recipe when I was the chef of a restaurant, which was the largest restaurant in the world at one time called Lundy's in Brooklyn. And I basically was up in a crow's nest in some building in Staten Island developing the recipe. And it was a research and development recipe where I was trying to, nothing was written from Lundy's. It was all by I and old cooks that were 70 and 80 years old when I met them and I was trying to translate that recipe into Lundy's famous biscuits and then I got fired from there after two and a half years because it was an insane job and then I opened Clinton Street a few years later and I brought my biscuit recipe with me so that's why I'm famous for my biscuits we're ready to make it Riley I'm ready let's do it all right okay Biscuits are very simple. Mm -hmm. You don't have to think too much about it or Perfect. worry too much about it. They're very forgiving. The most important step is the first step. Put your flour in the bowl. All right. It can be all-purpose flour. It could be any kind of, and then stick the butter thing into that. Kind of, yeah. And now we're gonna put our dry ingredients and mix them by hand. There's some kosher salt. I would love kosher salt in a recipe. There's baking powder. And there's a little bit of sugar. Biscuits aren't usually sweet, but the sugar is a nice little thing because not only does it caramelize and it browns the biscuits a little bit, it gives it a touch of sweetness. So basically, Riley, we're gonna just, with our hands, just make sure the baking powder and the flour and the salt and the sugar are mixed evenly. It doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to get every granule mm -hmm. done. Now, with your floured hand, we're gonna take our butter. Always should be cold, butter, shortening, lard, whatever fat you're using in the biscuit, and we put it all in at once. For me, making biscuits, this is the most important and most fun, okay? Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix the flour and the butter together, and then you're gonna basically, with your thumb, you're gonna, you're gonna rub the butter and the flour together. And this is really the most crucial part in a biscuit, in a pie dough recipe, where you're creating the flakiness of a dough. Okay. This is the part, and you can't really over mix this. The only way you can over mix it is once you put your liquid in, if you keep mixing it, you're creating gluten and that's gonna make the biscuits tough. Okay. But this stage, we're just having fun. We're talking about sports, we're talking <laughs> about girls, we're talking about life talking about New York. Traffic, am I right? Traffic, that's all my cousins talk about is traffic. Oh God, it took me 20 minutes to get here. How about that local sports team? Unbelievable. Oh, I hate those crosstown rivals. Oh my God. Where are you <laughs> from, by the way? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. what exit? Uh, well, I should know this one, 63. Oh, that was a joke, <laughs> what exit? <laughs> okay, how we doing? I think I'm doing pretty good. I got a few more clumps I gotta get through. When the flour kind of looks like it's like pebbles, mm -hmm. when it looks pebbly, mm -hmm. get in there from the bottom a little bit. Okay. And, and don't be afraid to really rub yeah. all that stuff in it. You want to keep a little bit of the pieces of butter in the dough, mm -hmm. but not too much. Yeah. Because then what's going to happen? A lot of the butter with the flour, mm -hmm. it's going to melt out of the dough. Oh. You don't want that melting out of the dough. You just want to kind of the butter kind of getting in the dough and making it all tender. Yes. And can you see how the, dough, the the flour is getting a little clumpier? Yeah. It's not as like fine? Yeah. That's good. Nice. Okay. I think we're ready to put our buttermilk in. What do you think? I think we are. Okay. You want to switch? You want to stick with mine? Um, yeah, we'll switch. We'll Let's switch. switch back. Okay. All right. Great. Nice. Okay. So. Just shake this up a little bit on the on the table and then gently lift the cover off. Okay. And this is basically buttermilk. And what the beauty of buttermilk is, it's kind of like 
sour milk and cream. Mm -hmm. And it makes the dough really tender. Okay. Now, I, you can use both hands. Okay. Let's do both hands and then mix the buttermilk in mm -hmm. until it starts to form a dough. Gotcha. And we'll take it off the sides, take it off our hands a little bit like mm -hmm. that. And then you can squeeze it a little bit. You don't have to worry. How's it coming? Yeah, can you cool. feel it coming together? Yeah, I can definitely I can. feel it dough. And can you feel it like coming off the sides of the bowl? Yeah, I gotta yeah. get it off my hands That's a beautiful. bit. That's <laughs> beautiful. Okay, so now at this point, let's just press it down a little bit mm -hmm. to absorb all that extra flour on the bottom mm -hmm. and then turn it over. You should have a pretty nice feel and a pretty good dough with a lot of stuff on your hands. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Now I'm gonna start like gently just scraping it off my fingers. Mm -hmm. You see, it's gonna really, I think it's gonna work. I think so. <laughs> All right. Now, so watch me, Riley. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little flour on the bottom uh -huh. right here, just a little bit on the board, and I'm gonna turn this dough right over. Okay. Okay? I'm gonna mush it together. Mm -hmm. You're good, you're good. <laughs> We're not gonna work it too much. Mm -hmm. We're gonna basically kind of form the dough. Yeah. Yeah. Take that stuff off your fingers. You're really good. Yeah. You're really good. See all this stuff, how it's like I'm putting it back on the dough? Yeah. Okay. Watch me one second. Yeah. I'm gonna put it together, I'm gonna turn it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm basically gonna just like push it down. Patty. Mm -hmm. Like a patty melt. Yeah. Okay. You're good. You're good. Take this off of one hand. You're really good. You're fine. <laughs> this takes practice and it takes. All right. You're going to be amazed at how delicious these are going to be. I'm going to be very good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So look, you're good. Yeah. Watch now. Yeah. Just take, take a little of this dough, form it together. Mm -hmm. Take a little bit more of that off your fingers. Yeah. You're doing good. Press it a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. Now. We're gonna do this. It's kind of even, right? Kind of mm -hmm. flat. We'll yep. make a little shape out of it. Okay. Yeah, good. Now you're gonna take a cutter like that mm -hmm. and you're gonna cut, punch straight. Kay. You're not gonna twist, because if you twist, you close up the sides. Yeah. And you want the sides open so the biscuits rise. Okay. So you're gonna punch it down, lift the biscuit up, and set it right there. Perfect. Okay, and then you're gonna do that close together close. so you get as many yeah. as you can. Um, we make about, we do about 200 biscuits a day and we serve them with the country breakfast with the heritage ham and eggs. We also do a biscuit sandwich with bacon. We do a biscuit sandwich at Dumbo with ham and or bacon. So we're making two to 300 biscuits a day times 363 days times 21 years. You do the math. It's a lot. Um, so basically, what I did, Riley, look, is I'm just mm -hmm. doing exactly what you did. I'm punching straight down. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. How it have a beautiful little shape. It looked like a big mess, but look how nice. Yeah. See? You can see, actually, the layers. Um, when you punch a biscuit out or you cut them, you want to make sure you don't twist the cutter or you don't turn the knife so that when you when you cut them, they're layered. You can almost see how nice and layered they are, but if you twist it, you close up the sides and prevents them from rising. Okay, so here's my trick. Okay. You have extra dough, right? Yeah. And this looks like shit. So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta do it over again, right? Yeah. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the dough mm -hmm. and you're gonna re reform it a little bit. Nice. You don't want to work it too much because then you're going to kind of make bread. Mm -hmm. But if you push it together like that and you make like another little dough and you put a little flour on the board mm -hmm. and then you do this again, see how nice the dough comes back? Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. can punch out a few more. Excellent. And even these will be really nice. You can square it off. You can round it off. How many do you think you're going to get out of that? No, I would say... Probably two. Two? Right? Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same thing with mine. 
So you see, you don't want to overwork the dough and you don't want to use it more than twice. So mm -hmm. after this roll, mm -hmm. I won't use it again because then they'll get tough. Gotcha. So maybe I'll get, let's say one. Still, you still get that uh -huh. open sides. Yeah. So I get three out of that. How about that? Okay, you do you, I do me. Turn the tray back that way. Right. Yeah. And then a little bit of egg wash. Mm -hmm. Very little. Just to the top. You could do egg wash, you could do butter, you could do heavy cream, you could do a little sea salt. I like a little egg wash because it gives it a real nice shine on the top. Some people just like a little dust of flour. There's many different ways. I think we're ready to go. As soon as we brush the last few. What do you think, Riley? I think so. I think it looks pretty good. Now, there's a lot of different methods of biscuits, like how you're gonna bake them with this. Some people like to keep them close together. So they bake together and they become pull apart. If you're doing like a biscuit sandwich and you wanna pull them apart. Other people like to do this. I kind of like to do this because I like the crispy edges of the biscuit. Some people like it more like top is crispy, but then everything else is kind of soft, like a pull apart roll. Put yours on the top, put oh. mine on the bottom. Nice. Awesome. Great. We set the timer for 20 minutes, 375 to 400, depending upon your oven. We'll give them a check through the window. They look pretty nice. And then we'll eat them with ham and butter. Ho oh, ho! Baby, Riley, you get your ass over here. I'll pretend to be Riley. Okay. Riley, you're on. Hot oven, right? Hot oven, baby. About two inches from you. Let me see. Just make sure. Yeah? Yeah, they're cooked. Pull them. Yep. Look how beautiful that is. You see the outside, the way they flaked? Yeah. You see how they came up? Mm-hmm. See the middles? Look at that. Whoa. Smell the butter and the buttermilk. Can you I smell that? smell the butter. That beautiful? Yeah. Those are Riley's biscuits. These are mine. <laughs> you see that beautiful like flakiness you yeah. get when you pull it apart? Uh -huh. How like they're in layers. See that? Mm -hmm. That's like the dough, the butter, and the flour mixing together. It's kind of cool. Neat. 